how to set up your EasyGrade Pro to send email uh, reports to your students. First of all, make sure that for each of your students, you've got um, uh, email set up. So if you double click on a student name, right here under uh, email one, you should have uh, their name. Next thing to do to send a report, it's command I on your keyboard. Uh, it would have been the same as uh, over here under file, um, email internet is command I. Once in there, uh, it should list your students and you can have them either send as a list or everyone um, in, a, in, a certain, um, in a certain list. I'm going to select a student from a list. I'm going to send to Dan Trockman. And then up here under options is where we need to set some things up. Email subject should be your grade. Whoa. Your grade report with student name. And then I'm going to send to email address one. So for example, uh, you could have uh, set another one up under other and you could have set up parents. Uh, so you, this is where you can select which email address to send to. Under uh, email setup, here under teacher email, you set that to your name and uh, your, uh, um, your, your email address. And then under here under SMTP email server, it's smtp.socketlabs.com. And this will be in the body of uh, the email that I send as well because um, some other parts here get long. You want to override the default SMT port to 2525. Um, this one you'll have to click SMTP server requires authentication. The ID is server 6342. All of that in the email as well. And then over here under password, it's a very long password. Unfortunately, you cannot copy and paste it into there, so you're going to have to type it very carefully. If your email does not send, chances are it's not sending because you got that email address wrong. Also, um, under student email address, if you just wanted to type in the student's username, for example, um, sehinton14, and leave off the at blakeschool.org, if you have any incomplete email names in the student profile, um, it'll automatically fill it in with at blakeschool.org. So if you're typing those in by hand, um, you know that you can leave that part off. Uh, lastly, um, batching emails, this can, this can really speed things up for sending, and you can send up to 50 emails in a batch. Our, our largest is 20. Um, delay between seconds, you can keep that uh, um, relatively short, and uh, they should still go off as a batch. Finally, if everything's in OK, um, we can hit Send. And you should see a report that looks something like this. It says it's connecting. It's sending them off. It says, would you? Um, all emails are sent. And at that point, if they sent, you don't have to look at the log. But if they failed, um, take a look at the log, and if you're having problems with that, uh, get back to either Dan Trockman or Sean Hickey for, um, for fixing. All right?